Welcome back to Alflator, folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here with you on a starting to get pretty hot kind of day. We've got something a little bit special for you today. Jeff has mounted six, six, count them. <laughs> you can't Don't, see them. Yeah, you can, you'll, you'll see them in the little tabletop. He's mounted six little uh, buckshot, uh, double lot buckshot rounds on a string, on a little piece of wire. And we're gonna fire these things off today and see if six pieces of buckshot spaced out evenly on a piece of wire, do they hold together? Do they fly in one big piece and act like a big giant uh, cheese cutter? Do they, uh, do they break apart from the wire? Is the buckshot way too heavy and it tears them apart? And I don't know. We're we don't see. know. We don't know. No. But I've seen this before. Some old school French slugs that were wired together and, and the Russians have tried it. An inventor named Benjamin Waugh <laughs> invented these balls. And uh, no, he didn't actually. So let's give these things a try. We're going to try them at some distance to see what they do uh, on the high speed camera see how they hit a sheet of cardboard and if they, what kind of pattern they make, would they be viable for anything? <laughs> I'm sure everybody out there thinks they'll be either the perfect or the not perfect home defense round, but uh, <laughs> we'll take a look. Anyway, let's get down to it. Kaboom! Okay, I'm ready when you are. Here you go. Hit it. Okay, what happened there? Well, <laughs> what appears to be, a big, uh, big laceration of the cheek. One round went through here. You can see a nice big uh, cavity in there. We, it looks like we got another one through the lower cheek jaw area. A deeper one in here behind the eye. I don't know what if this is old or new, but it made a gory wound. Yeah, it was. That's pretty. Uh, uh, look at that. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's a gash. So that's the string carving through. There? I think so. I oh, think so. Wire cheese cutter. Not a not super accurate, but hey, does, <laughs> does it need to be? Is this a stoma down here from smoking surgery? I don't know. My name is Helen. <laughs> well, my name is Alan. Regardless, it looked pretty gory. So let's take a look at the high-speed camera footage so we can see exactly what happened. The round consists of six double-aught lead balls with a hole drilled through each one. It's held together with a single-strand copper wire, or telephone wire. The wire is simply looped around each lead ball. There's no knots, there's no glue, it's not soldered. I decided to go with six balls for several reasons. First, I didn't have a lot of buckshot to sacrifice. Second, I wanted to keep it simple to minimize malfunctions. And finally, I wanted to maximize the velocity of these. These are going over 1600 feet per second. So we have eight bundled together antique wet magazines. Uh, those of you in the 80s remember subscribing to Wet Magazine. Uh, you can Google it if you'd like to uh, <laughs> see what the content of Wet Magazine was. But these soaked magazines have been bundled together by clear cellophane tape. As you've seen before on this channel, they are a pretty good, uh, well, they're a pretty good target because they they tend to capture the round and they tend to illustrate the the damage around uh, hitting some, some hydrodynamic static shock. Yeah, that that's uh, Latin. Like... That's Latin for big gory hole. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna try and make one with those six pellets on a string. Oh, fire! Here we go. Ooh. Oh, that was a direct hit. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, what happened? Well, well you, hit, you hit it for one thing. First thing I hit it. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Second of all, that damn cluster of uh, double lot buckshot on a string went right on through this stack of wet magazines and right on out there. I didn't, ex I, I didn't think they would do that. No. Well, I found out there another 30 yards away little wet confetti everywhere, but um, yeah, that went straight on through this thing. That's pretty good. And. No, there's no getting the finger through there. <laughs> Eight magazines, but boo, that's a pretty good impact, actually. Yeah, not bad. We've, we've had the one was accurate this time. Yeah, we've had slugs before not make it through this. <laughs> I know, I know. There's your exit hole. Nice job. Exit you see hole. any wire or anything? Or there's nothing. There's no material from the oh, okay. projectile. Oh, okay. Okay. But if we had a, a thermal gun or a metal detector we could go out through that burn <laughs> spend all afternoon looking through hot sand with a metal de with a, uh, a thermal gun yeah yeah hot sand wait i got a hot spot over here oh wait there, it's just uh, sand that's just a rock <laughs> okay all right you internet scientists let's try a different one 
In this test, the wire does a fantastic job of controlling the spread of the buckshot. We had a very tight pattern and all that concentrated energy just blew right through the wet magazines. In our previous tests using buckshot against the wet magazines, none of them have ever gone through. So if there's anything in this test that really surprised me and caught me off guard was this test. What is that? <laughs> I don't know, but it's an old guy with some droopy eye, droopy eyelids here. Let's, <laughs> let's fix that up a little bit so that's not distracting. Yeah, not only can he draw, he's also a sculptor. Oh yeah, I'm a sculptor. You should see. Yeah. You should see my nudes. <laughs> I, that I do it myself. <laughs> Self portraits. Self portraits in marble. So. <laughs> if you guys are interested in such a thing, I've got them for sale over on Teespring on my channel. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, oh my shit. gosh. Well, there goes your block of clay. Oh man, I want <laughs> to. Try to... Here we go. Oh, oh my shit. gosh. It's hard to imagine what caused that to happen. Yes, it is. We're going to change this guy's name to Home Slice. He, this thing, it looks like cut right through like a, uh, like a wire cheese cutter. Now, out of a smooth bore, I expected these just to fly out and fly through the air in one big concentrated blob. And that's based on my observations of the bolo rounds that we shot a couple years ago. Well, we saw some impressive results using a smoothbore. Let's try it out through a fully rifled barrel. What kind of choke is it, OG? It's a fully <laughs> rifled barrel. And we're gonna be fly we're gonna be shooting about 30 yards at the three-eyed tau flader noodle. Not often seen in the wild. Not often shot in the wild. <laughs> yep, everything looks good, I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Did you do anything? I don't know. Oh, I see holes in his forehead. Oh, yeah. Something happened. Well, we were pleasantly surprised at this. Check this out. Six balls on a string. Almost an exact picture of what that round was doing as it came apart. <laughs> Is that where you're aiming? I was aiming at his forehead, so okay. that's where it went, right between the three eyes. You want to hit him always between the three eyes <laughs> if you're aiming for the three-eyed tough later noodle. But I mean, isn't that cool? Yeah. See the string passing through there. Like and a cheese cutter. Like a cheese cutter, and then right there. Oh, <laughs> got me. You got me again. But yeah, look at that. It's like a uh, it's like a rosary of death. <laughs> By the way, I had a punk metal band in the early 2000s, only for a month, and we were called Rosary of Death. We, pl we only played churches, and we weren't very popular. So uh, all the priests canceled us, like, first time we played, so we broke up. Now, in case you're one of those people that skip around the videos, don't watch it all, or you just weren't paying attention, this is 30 yards or 27 meters. I really didn't expect the rifling to engage this cluster of pellets very well but it actually did and we do see a gentle clockwise rotation of the string of pellets what's the next target greg we have the grumpy grapefruit jeff okay <laughs> through full rifling he's part of the surly citrus family <laughs> when you're ready i'm ready oh Whoa. Geez. holy crap there's still pieces falling In this test, we really see the effectiveness of the wire itself as it slices through the flesh of the grapefruit. This 10 yard shot on this relatively small target also shows you the confidence that we gained in this bizarro round. The round really did prove to be a lot more accurate than we anticipated. You know, the kids would describe that as janky. Janky? Yeah. Well, we're gonna use that word a lot more just, oh, just out of context. So that we're hip? Yeah. All right, well, this is off the chain. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, I, didn't, I didn't know your grumpy grapefruit had so much mud in it. Oh, we, we, those we, rounds, uh, you guys probably seen by now, but those rounds, it looked like most of them hit the grapefruit and definitely tore them apart. We found pieces out here 10, 15 yards away. It, it cheese cuttered it. That's how you... It smells delicious. No, that's the, the big uh, methane oh. captured thing over here. Jeff, okay. and I are, Jeff and I are gonna actually run over there and bounce on that when we're all done with yeah, it. I'm, I'm very tempted, but we'll be before, <laughs> with, be with, sure to film it so our, you with, know, the, uh, the 
Oh, you'll go viral. <laughs> so, so the coroner knows what happened. We're going to bounce on it with cigarettes <laughs> and spiked shoes. It's golf shoes. Golf shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and I just came from a trip to Sam's Italian Deli and Market in Fresno, where we picked up a bottle of Luigi's spaghetti flavored soda. Straight from Italy, Luigi's spaghetti flavored soda is refreshing on a hottest day. <laughs> Dude, that's totally janky. <laughs> that is janky. That's whack, Jeff. <laughs> Look at that. So Jeff has Jeff has loaded this bottle with what is that? Spaghetti, Spaghetti. or is that tapeworms? <laughs> Believe it or not, the, the guy who left the comment probably forgot he left the comment, but it's a viewer <laughs> suggested this. Put spaghetti in a bottle and shoot it. Well, that looks delicious. They, yeah, I bet it, it's been sitting there for about two weeks. Ooh, fermented spaghetti. It's fermented. probably gone septic. Now, uh, international laws prevent us from calling it actually spaghetti soda, so we have to say spaghetti flavored soda <laughs> because it wasn't actually made in Italy, so it's kind of like one of those champagne rules. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's give it a try against our last ball and string round, our Ben Benjamin Wah balls, <laughs> and, uh, and see what they do. Okay. All right, Greg, janky that thing. Janky, here it goes. I'm ready. Oh! That round really slaps. I'm ready. Oh! In our test, we only saw a slight difference between smoothbore and rifled performance. Now, granted, there was a little bit of difference, but overall, the performance of these was very reliable. Now, there are a lot of things that could have gone wrong, like just the wire getting all tangled up in itself. The wire could have been pinched between the lead buckshot and just sheared it off during the firing cycle. And finally, the wire could have been sheared just going through the forcing cone of the shotgun. But the test went remarkably well, and that always excites me. So okay. the ball stayed intact, you said? They stayed? Yeah, they're all still uh, attached together. to the wire. State of the wire. I was aiming low down here so we could get an explosion upward. That was a pretty jinky shot. Yeah, it wasn't as explosive as one had hoped, but yeah. they stayed together. They hit pretty much where we aimed. There's there's the marks where three or four of those little balls hit the uh, hit the jug, but you can see the string kind of sliced it, it, in there. It sliced through there. So I didn't I didn't I didn't know I didn't give that wire much uh, hope in doing anything other than holding the holding everything together during the flight. Yeah, that was definitely janky. That's janky, man. That's so janky. But <laughs> this portion of the video was sponsored by Luigi's spaghetti flavored soda. Drink some today. <laughs> Be dead by tomorrow. So anyway, we hope you liked it. It was actually kind of an interesting round. It performed uh, differently than we thought, but it was actually kind of impressive. Yeah. They stayed together out of a smooth bore. They tend to separate a little bit more out of a rifled barrel. So you got two different mixes there. If anyone, I swear to God, puts down in here that this is a perfect home defense round. <laughs> no, not we should, have, we should have shot it through uh, drywall, see if yes. it can go through drywall. Yeah, it's perfect. Because Jeff, if you miss with the other five balls, the one ball will hit them and it'll wrap the string around their legs like the, like the like Empire a, Strikes Back like movie. Like a bola route, yeah. Right. Like the, those little at -at, <laughs> at at walkers. Yes. No, no, not a good home defense round, but interesting to see out here on the range nonetheless. So, we thank you guys for sticking with us and uh, watching this pretty cool round. Hope you enjoyed it. I guess we'll see you on the next one, eh? That's, that's it. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.